thermal processes attack the problem of an unfavorable mobility ratio and residual oil saturation by heating the reservoir and its fluids. The heat is added either through the injection of steam or hot water or by actually burning some of the oil in the formation. The most important effect of adding heat is the sharp reduction in the oil viscosity and with it the resulting decrease in the mobility ratio. Increasing the reservoir fluid temperature also reduces interfacial tension, increases the relative permeability to oil, and vaporizes some of the oil. During a steam flood, steam is continuously injected into a reservoir using an injection production well pattern similar to a water flood. As the steam, shown here in light blue, moves out into the reservoir away from the injection well, its temperature drops because of heat losses and it begins to condense to form the hot water zone, pushing oil ahead. All of these zones move toward the production wells with the benefits of higher temperature. In the steam zone, oil is actually vaporized. In the hot water zone, the oil expands, its viscosity drops, the residual oil saturation is lowered, and the relative permeability improved. Another way of obtaining the beneficial effects of heat in the reservoir is to generate the heat in situ. This can be done by injecting air into the reservoir using compressors and then igniting the crude oil air mixture in the well bore. Continued injection of air will cause the burning front or combustion zone, shown in red, to propagate out into the reservoir, heating the oil ahead of it and producing steam and hot water zones that push an oil bank toward the production well.